we're just here taking a look at the uh, Go Rucks new Shadow Ruck line. I've got the 15 liter, the 20 liter, and the 25 liter. So since they're all pretty much exactly the same, they've got all the same uh, zips and pockets, uh, I'll just be taking a closer look into the 20 litre one. Uh, now Gorak is actually advertising these bags um, as being very packable, so you can basically roll them up and pack them into some of their um, more higher end bags. So like this. Uh, but personally I find that the best thing about these bags is uh, the lightweight. So at uh, Traveling Light we like lightweight stuff. So this, this is a 20 litre one. And uh, if I just weigh it here, you'll see that while it's empty it's only 780 grams. Here we have the uh, 20 litre. It's probably the best size, uh, sort of in between. So it's somebody who's probably under six feet. Um, it has a Velcro patch, so you can stick anything you want in there, customize it. And it has this nice front pocket zip with the military uh, grab handle. And it's just basically just an empty pocket. You can put passport, documents, papers, um, just anything that slips down the side there. And then around the sides, we've got nothing, no extras on the back. And uh, the top handle is just a very simple one here. Um, the shoulder straps are actually very comfortable. They're very, they're very well padded. Um, it's very comfortable when you're walking for a long distance, carrying it along with you for a long time. It's, uh, it's got two zips and it's a panel loader so you can zip, unzip it all the way and get complete access to everything in your bag. Now I've just uh, stuffed a few extra clothes in here just to give it some shape. So I'll just chuck those into the 25 litre to get them out of the way. And uh, I've just got some um, packing capsules to give you an idea of uh, how you would pack it if you were travelling. I usually put my clothes in a travel cube like this. So the inside also pretty basic. Uh, you have a little pouch here which you could slip like a, a laptop down the side. And then uh, around the front, you've got a um, mesh uh, pouch that you can put other stuff there, passports, whatever you want. You got a nice logo here, telling you it's a 20 litre version. And then uh, quite nice here, you've got this extra um, pocket. So this is this would be great for when your bag is packed and you just want to put like uh, passports or when you're passing through security and you want to put wallets uh, whatever's in your pockets just chuck it into your bag so it's actually quite a nice size very in between not too big and not too small and all of the shutter rucks have the exact same configuration of the two inside pockets a pouch and uh, the front pocket with the velcro and they don't have the molly straps there you have it. Now in terms of size difference, uh, I'd say um, the 15 litre is probably something you want to tra probably travel around with if you were just doing day trips, stuff like that, maybe university. Uh, the 20 litre and the 25 are more roomy bags I would say. They, they are definitely ones you could take uh, backpacking, travelling. Um, 25 litre is really good I would say for longer haul backpacking and maybe taller people who um, it would suit better as well. As you can see uh, before when I showed the sizing difference 
Um, the 20 litres uh, definitely sits better on a person who is under 6 feet. But uh, and other than that, they're all uh, exactly the same, just uh, different sizes. So you got uh, 5 litres difference between all of the different bags. But they all have the exact same very solid sturdy construction and they're all made of the same materials.